like what the EEPROMs are. Uh, so you can have up to four. Um, there's EEPROMs that identify the name of the cape. If we'd initially allocated enough space on the cape to actually have a bunch of pin configurations in those EEPROMs. Um, instead, we've done things more the Linuxy way, which is you put the software in the distro, um, and all you do is put an identifier on the cape. So it just has a name. Um, and so you just generally have to update to the version of software that has support for the cape that you install. Um, and then it should just auto detect and install and just work. Trademark, pretty soon. <laughs> yes. um, We've got the micro cape, the series, it's like a C, it gives you a RS465, 45, whatever, uh, micro cape. So it's kind of like a good example of something that's plugged into the header and pass it around. 